y'all, what's up? My name is Avery, and today I'm going to be talking about all of the books that I plan to read for the Buzzwordathon. <laughs> So if you did not know what the Buzz Wordathon is, it is a week-long readathon hosted mainly by Books and Lala, but like she created it, but every round she asks another booktuber to co-host with her. And this round she chose Gabby from Gabby Reads, and I love both of these channels so much. I will basically watch anything that Kayla from Books and Lala posts. I love her. And then Gabby, I love her romance videos. I will leave both of their channels linked down below with all of like the Buzzwordathon information. But basically, it's a week long readathon where you read books that have a certain word in the title. This round, it is numbers, so any book with any kind of number in it is good to go. It starts today, November 18th, all the way to, I believe, the 24th. So Monday to Sunday. Now I just want to say before I talk about my TBR that I know I said in like a previous video that I was going to participate in Tome Topple. That has not happened and I don't think it's going to happen. I'm not going to have a rating vlog for it actually. I had to read another book for my book club and I've only read maybe 40 pages of the book that I was going to read for Tome Topple. So sorry if you were expecting that reading vlog. That one's not going to come out. But the one for the Buzzwordathon is I'm going to make sure that I read these books because I really want to. So I do not have like a definite TBR. I pulled out every book that had a number on it that is on my TBR, every single one. So I'm just gonna tell y'all about all of the books that have a number in it that I own that I might read. But anyway, also sorry about the glare for my glasses. I am too lazy to put in contacts today. So you're gonna have to deal with the glare for a little bit. I'm sorry. We're gonna start out with the book that I am probably most likely going to read. This is my number one pick. We have Once Upon a Prince by Rachel Hauk. Hook. I'm so sorry I'm butchering that. This is the first book in the Royal Wedding series. This is a royalty romance and I believe it deals with Christianity in some way. I've been wanting to get into more Christian fiction. Um, I haven't actually read a Christian fiction book before and this one is a royalty romance Christian fiction book which sounds right up my alley. So it's about a prince who takes an American holiday to St. Simon's Island where he meets Susanna who just got dumped by her 12 year high school sweetheart boyfriend. She is an ordinary girl and he is a royal prince and it is their romance. This sounds really cute. The cover is really cute. So I'm most likely going to read this one. Next we have Twice in a Blue Moon by Christina Lauren. I believe this book is on a lot of people's TBR for the Buzzwordathon because it has twice in it and it's a Christina Lauren book that just came out. So I bet a bunch of people are going to pick this one for the Buzzwordathon. I don't know much about this book. I really love to go into Christina Lauren's books blind, as blind as I could possibly be. A little that I do know about it is that it is a second chance romance book and I believe it's some of it takes place in high school and some of it takes place present day uh, so you get the then and then the now I, I guess I remember I know Jess from piece of books read this in one of her reading vlogs I think for the contemporary thon maybe and she didn't really love it so I'm nervous going into this. Next is a book I know like nothing about. We have The Thousandth Floor by Catherine McGee. I only know about this book from Haley from Haley and Bookland. I know that she's read this. I don't even remember if she liked it or not though. I saw this at the free shelf at my library. I know nothing about this. I think it might be dystopian-esque where like the higher class lives at the top and like everybody lives in one building and like the higher class people live at the top or something. Leave a comment down below if you read this book and if you enjoyed it or not. Next we have a book that everyone has read except for me. <laughs> Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Everyone has read this except for me. I got this as a Christmas present for my lovely friend Alex last Christmas, like the Christmas of 2018. I think the hype scared me away from this book. I honestly don't know if I'm gonna get to this. It is really big. I feel like it'll take a lot out of me emotionally to read this. <laughs> There's just so much hype around this book. I think I've come to a time in my life where when a book is really, 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 really hyped, I don't really want to read it anymore. That's happened to a few books on my TBR shelf. So that has happened to this one. This book, from what I know, is about Evelyn Hugo, who is like a Hollywood starlet, and she's had seven husbands, but no one really knows really anything about her personally. She like hires this reporter to report her story, but will only allow this one reporter to do it. And 
the reporter has no idea why. I just watched Kayla's vlog where she read this and I believe she gave it three stars. Uh, so I don't know what I'm gonna think about this book. I know a bunch of people love it, so hopefully I do too. Next we have Because You Love to Hate Me, edited by Amory with a bunch of authors, but it is, there's a number on here, it says 13 Tales of Villainy. And they said that that counts if it's like a collection and it has 13 on the cover or whatever. This was on my last Buzzwordathon TBR because it had the word you, has the word you in it. This is 13 short stories about villains and it's like a collaboration with booktubers also. It had like a prompt given by a booktuber to write a villainous story about. I don't know why I've never been interested in wanting to read this actually. So maybe this will push me to actually read this book. Next we have another short story collection, Unbroken 13 Stories Starring Disabled Teens. This is edited by Mariki. Oh, I cannot pronounce their name. There is <laughs> their name. I'm so sorry. And we have a bunch of um, authors here at the bottom. This is a book that I've been wanting to read for so long. This is 13 short stories uh, starring disabled teens and being a disabled person myself, I really wanted to read this book but I read the first story in this I believe over the summer and it kind of threw me off and I didn't really want to read it anymore for a while like I wasn't gonna fully DNF it but at the time I wanted to put it down because the first story just like didn't grip me whatsoever. Hopefully though with this readathon I will become more invested into this book and hopefully be able to see the representation that I want. Okay, and the last physical read that I have that has a number in the title is Monstrous Volume 1. This is a fantasy graphic novel series. That's all I know about it. I believe Sam from Thoughts on Tomes really enjoys this series. So I picked it up because she is great for vouching for fantasy reads. This will be a nice quick read to have for the readathon. I've had this book for like over a year. I don't know why I haven't read it yet. It's really short. So I'm excited to read this one for the readathon also. I only have two more books and they are ebooks. Also, by the way, like I will be listening to audiobooks. I listen to an audiobook every single day when I commute to school and to work. Check out my reading blog to figure out what audiobook I'm going to be listening to because I don't know right now. I do have two ebooks because I like to read a physical book, read an ebook, and listen to an audiobook all at the same time. I know that's really weird and maybe over the top for some people, but that's what I like to do. I have my list up there, so that's why I'm looking up there. First one is It Takes Two. It Takes Two? Is that the whole title of it? It Takes Two by Kat Sebastian. I'm sorry if I'm like cutting off some of the title. I wrote was It Takes Two. Hmm. Anyway, um, this is on Kindle Unlimited. This is a historical romance, but it's a male male romance, which I've never read as a historical male male romance before. I'm excited for this. That's all I know is that it's a male male romance. So I'm really excited for it. Um, I believe that Riley from Riley Marie picked it up at one point, so that's how it got on my radar. And then the last book on this list is Once Upon a Winter's Eve by Tessa Dare. I believe I got this on Kindle for free, like, months ago before I even had read a Tessa Dare book before. I was looking through my Kindle books looking for books that have numbers on the title and this one popped up and I was like I had no idea that I had this book. Like I love Tessa Dare. How did I not know that I own this book on my Kindle? This is number like 1.5 in like a series or something that I haven't read yet. I've only read the Girl Makes Duke series but each book is like a uh, companion book. You don't need to read them in order, I don't think. All I know is it is a historical romance about this woman who is, I believe, really shy. Um, she can speak like six languages and then like someone like crashes a party or like crashes into her house or something. He speaks a language that only she can understand um, and it's a romance between them, I believe. Don't count me on that though. I might be completely wrong. Um, if I end up reading it, please check out my reading vlog to figure out if I was right or not. Or you can go actually look up the book if you want to know about it. But anyways, there you have it. Those are some books that I have that have numbers in them that I hopefully will read during the Buzzwordathon. I'm not gonna read all of these, that's for sure. There are a lot. Please let me know down in the comment section down below if you are going to be participating in the Buzzwordathon. I would love to know. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching and I will see y'all soon for my reading vlog. Bye.